all, my name is Margaret and this is Katie. We serve through Larimer County 4-H STEM Extension, making themed STEM experiments for youth like you. This week's theme is robots because this is actually National Robotics Week and today we are making a robotic car. Hi everyone, so for this experiment you're going to need a firm block of foam, four bottle lids for wheels or if you have model wheels like this you can use those two straws, two skewers, a rubber band, some googly eyes, a pipe cleaner for a mouth, two AA battery holder, two AA batteries, a 1.5 3-volt DC motor. Um, you are also going to need some scissors and some wire strippers, needle-nose pliers, a hot glue gun, a ruler, a pencil, and an X-Acto knife. Also, please pause the video now for, and ask for an adult's permission and for help gathering these supplies. Great, so now that we have everything, let's get started. So first we're going to use our rulers to measure and cut the three squares of foam. The foam pieces should be three by four by two inches and then three by two by one inches. Um, so we'll have two smaller pieces of foam and then one larger piece of foam that will be the base of the car. Um, so let's go ahead and measure and cut those out. Awesome, so the next thing that we're gonna do is grab the two straws um, what we're going to do is cut the straws so that they are about an inch wider than the width of the base of our car. So um, they should be about this long compared to our car. Great, so next we're going to use our skewers and we're going to cut them so that they're about a quarter inch longer than the straws. And as you can see, we already have our wheels attached to one end of the skewers. So we just have to measure them according to our straws and then cut them that length. Awesome, so the next thing that we are going to do is glue one of the straws onto the back of our foam base. Um, so when you're done, it should look something like that. Great, and then on the front of the base of the car, we are going to use our ruler and we're going to measure in one inch of the length. And then we're going to poke a pencil through the center of the width of the car. So right about here and just poke it all the way through like this. And then we're going to take our second straw that is this length and cut it so that there's enough room for the holes in the middle. So we'll cut it in half like this and then we'll glue the two pieces onto the front of the car leaving space for the hole on either side so it should look like this. Okay awesome so then once it's done as you can see the front straw is cut in half and then there's room for the hole in the middle and you can even readjust and cut off the extra ends if you have a little bit extra for one of the straws on the front. Awesome, so the next thing that we are going to do is use a pencil to push a rubber band through that hole that we made. Um, make sure that your rubber band is long enough to stick through both ends of the hole. Awesome. Great, so now since we've already done this, you may want to take a second to do this, but you want to attach wheels to each of the skewers just on one side so that we can still put them through the straw, but once you do that, you're going to put them through both of the straws and especially with the front straw, make sure that it goes through the loop of the rubber band as well, like that. Awesome, once they are all the way through the straws, what you're gonna do is take your last two bottle caps or wheels and glue them onto the other sides of the skewers. Great, so now we're going to make an electrical circuit. So we're going to start um, by taking one of the wires on our battery pack and wrapping it around one of the posts on our motor. So the posts are these two small loops. And sometimes you have to twist the wire um, so that it'll all fit through one of the loops. And then it should look like this when you're done. Awesome, so once you have the one side connected, what you're gonna do is just repeat those steps on the other posts on the motor um, so that it makes a complete circuit. Great, so then next we're going to flip our car over and glue the battery holder onto the end of the car base, so the side without the rubber band sticking out. Um, and if you don't wanna use glue, you can also use double-sided tape 
um, just in case you want to use your battery holders for something else. Next, we are going to glue one of the smaller pieces of foam to the top of the car on one side of the rubber band, perpendicular to the battery holders. So um, it's going to go kind of like that. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and glue the motor to the top of that foam piece. Or again, like Margaret said, if you want to reuse the motor, we can just use some tape. So when you're done, it should look something like that. Great, and then next, as you can see this little part that's sticking out with the motor, we're going to hook our rubber band around it. Ooh, and see with this, it might be a little hard um, or it might be too much um, leverage to keep the motor up. So what we can do is just either add more glue or more tape just so that the rubber band doesn't pull the motor off of the top of the piece of foam. Awesome, so the next step is going to be to glue the other piece of foam to the other side of the car so that it's symmetrical to the first piece of foam. Great, and then we have our face of the car. So what we're going to do is put two googly eyes right here and then we're gonna put the pipe cleaner right there for the smile. Great, and then the last step is actually starting the car. So we're going to do this by putting in our batteries and once we put them in the car should start awesome so we just made a robot car um good work everybody we hope that you enjoyed making this car with us if you want to follow along with the rest of the national robotics week's activities or other stem related activities be sure to follow us on the larimer county 4-h stem facebook page or subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching bye bye